This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. What an absolutely fantastic, fantastic performance by Ted Cheeseman. He is the new British Super Welterweight Champion. He's now 15-0 after dominating a senior byfield in a very, very good fight. And I have to give credit where credit is due. A senior byfield is tough. He's very, very tough, very, very awkward. But Ted Cheeseman, he had his game plan and he didn't shy away from that game plan at all throughout virtually the entire fight. Um, byfield, I think that he wanted to trade and Cheeseman was like, no, 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 and was just going forward like a machine. So Team Sport and Icons, yep, we are sponsoring Ted Cheeseman. We are the main sponsors of Ted Cheeseman, as you can see there on the shirts, and of course on his fight night trunks as well. And by the way, big up to Scott for sorting all that out, my Sport and Icons general manager there. So big up to him on that one. So this was a very, very good performance by Ted Cheeseman, and he showed that he is what he said he is, which is above British level. And he is above British level, and you can see that with the way that he just controlled the entire fight. Um, high guard, come forward, elbows in, so body shots and headshots would either hit their arms, the elbows, or the gloves. And whenever he got close, unloaded on the body of Byfield, which is what you needed to do. In my post-fight, um, or sorry, my pre-fight um, prediction and review, that's what I thought that uh, Ted Cheeseman had to do, was take away the body, because Byfield is awkward. He just changes from Southpaw to Orthodox and just moves around constantly. He needed to slow him down a bit and hurt Byfield, and that's exactly what he'd done. Personally, I think that maybe the corner of Byfield sh should have pulled him out from around about round eight, nine, because there was no way that Byfield was going to really knock out Ted Cheeseman. At this point, he was way, way, way behind on the scorecards. He must have been. I don't know what the official scorecards were. All I know is unanimous decision for Ted Cheeseman. And of course, he did drop um, a senior Byfield. For the first time in Byfield's career as a pro and an amateur, he hit the canvas. And that shows how hard Ted Cheeseman hits as well. Now, Byfield moves around a lot, so it's very, very difficult to hit clean. So that's why Ted Cheeseman adopted the game plan of come forward, try and trap him. And if he couldn't trap him, just throw a couple of punches here and there to the body, which Byfield sure as hell felt. So I'm so proud of Ted. Um, I'll see if I can get him on the channel next week. I'm not quite sure what his immediate plans are. Maybe a bit of a break, um, holiday abroad. I don't know. I'll find out and get him on the channel for you all to have a chat with. So yeah, excellent stuff from Ted Cheeseman. Real, real proud of him. Dominated. Absolutely dominated a senior Byfield. And Byfield, he can go home with his head held high. I mean, a lot of people would have just taken a knee or quit on their stool after that kind of punishment, but he just kept on in there. He was hanging on in there. But Ted was just confident, and he knew, to, um, especially towards the end of the fight there, round 11 and 12, that there's no way that Byfield can hurt him. He can shake him for sure and uh, push him back, which is um, what he did, especially with like um, a few seconds ago of round 11 where he had Cheeseman on the back foot uh, and, and I wasn't too sure if he hurt Cheeseman or not but by the looks of it no because Ted went back to the corner smiling and of course he was smiling all the way through round number 12 and was encouraging Byfield to trade with him but uh, Byfield chose the right decision not to do that because I think Ted would have got him out of there um, had he have done that so congratulations to Ted Cheeseman Team Sport and Icons gets to win more importantly Ted Cheeseman gets to win and the new British Super Welterweight champion drop your thoughts below click that thumbs up and of course subscribe catch you all on the next video